Fish, fresh fish for sale. Fresh fish. Hey, anybody want fresh fish? Huh? I'm looking in fresh fish. Fresh fish for sale. Woo! <laughs> wow, that fish is fresh. <laughs> you know, I don't know how to tune a piano, but I know how to tune a fish. <laughs> fish, fish for sale. Fresh fish, fresh fish. Woo! Wow, wow. Fresh fish, fresh fish. Hey, 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 who took the fish? All right, come back here. Come back here. Good morning. Welcome to Kids Church Online. I'm Pastor Randy. Today we're looking at the different types of attitudes that people have. Some honor God and some do not honor God. Some honor people, some do not honor people. We need to be people that show honor to others. What kind of attitude do you have? Jesus is our example. What kind of attitude we should have? Philippians 2.5 says, Let the same attitude that is in Christ Jesus be in you. Some people are fussy. Some people are caring. Some people are loving. Some people are happy. Some people are kind of grumpy. What kind of attitude do you have? And when you look at other people, how do you treat them? What kind of attitude do you have? Do you just ignore them? Do you just walk away? Do you pretend like they're not there? No, that kind of helps people think that maybe you have an attitude and an attitude that cares more about yourself than about others. Jesus told a story about a guy who needed some help. There were people that came by and they responded different ways, probably because they had different attitudes about the person that was hurting. Listen to this story. In Luke chapter 10, Jesus told about a man that was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. And here he is now. Now this man was going to market and he had some money with him. Not a lot, but he had some. And unfortunately, when he was coming along the road, there were some thieves. These other men saw the guy that was traveling and they decided to rob him. So they rolled on over to him and they knocked him over and they took his money, his valuables, and actually even took some of the clothes he was wearing. So they took that money and they ran away. The guy was injured. He was in bad shape. The fact is he couldn't even get up off the ground. So he laid there and cried out for help. Since he was along the roadway, there were other people traveling. One guy came along, traveling along. He was a religious leader. And as he traveled along, he saw the man that was laying in the ditch, but he just kept going by. He didn't stop to help. He figured he was too busy. So here comes a second one. This was also a church leader. And he stopped and he noticed that this guy was hurting, but he figured he was too busy and he didn't want to stop doing what he was doing, so he left also. Well, a third one came along. And the third person there took a look and realized that he was hurting. But he also decided, nah, I don't want to take time out of my busy schedule. And off he went. What was this guy going to do? He was in big trouble. There was nobody to help him. But then, along came one more person. He was different than the others. And actually, a lot of people made fun of him 
and wouldn't even talk to him. He was from an area called Samaria. He was a Samaritan. And he saw the guy that needed help. He went over and he realized that he could be helpful. It didn't matter what other people thought. He was going to do his best to help take care of him. Well, he took him on to the next town and he took him to a place that the guy could be taken care of. And actually, he said, listen, here's some money that will pay for this man to be taken care of. And if you need more money, I'll bring more back to you. Just take care of him. Wow, this guy had the right attitude. He cared about other people and he didn't let anything stop him from doing what was right. When Jesus saw that I was hurting, did he just walk by and ignore me? No, Jesus did what needed to be done to help me. Jesus went to the cross and paid the price for me so my sins could be forgiven. And so my heart, my soul, my mind, my body could be healthy and healed. I'm so thankful that Jesus stopped to help me. He didn't look down on me. He didn't um, act like I wasn't important. No, he loved me and he loves you too. And we need to be like Jesus, where we stop and we help the hurting. Don't look at people and laugh at them if they're hurting. Don't make fun of them. Don't look down on them. Choose to be like Jesus. Let the same attitude be in you that is in Christ Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, kids, it's me, Simon the Clown. Did you know that in Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, it says, let the same attitude be in you that's in Christ Jesus. Let the same attitude be in you that's in Christ Jesus. I was thinking, well, what kind of attitude would Jesus wear? Would he, would he wear that kind of attitude? I mean, what controls a, a attitude? If I put a different hat, hat on, like, I don't think that's the attitude that, that I should have. Maybe... Maybe I should just have have this kind of kind of attitude, huh? Do you like that kind of attitude, or what kind of what kind of hat? Oh, here, the same. Let the same attitude be in you that is in Christ Jesus. How about how about that one? Oi, 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 me matey. <laughs> let the same attitude be in you that is in Christ Jesus. It wasn't a hat-itude. It was an attitude. Attitude. <laughs> how you think, how you feel, how you show that to people. From your perspective, from how you think, how you care, that shows your attitude too. Scripture tells us, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. It'd be kind of like putting on a hat. If a person goes to work at a um, construction zone, they need to put on a, like a construction helmet. You put on the right hat for the right occasion. In the same way, it's always the right thing to put on the attitude of Jesus Christ. Claim it as your own. Put it on. Act like Jesus, think like Jesus, love like Jesus. It's a prayer that I pray regularly, Lord, 
Jesus, help me be more like you. This is why Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to help change us on the inside. Not just our thoughts, but also our attitudes. So let's pray about that today. Lord Jesus, we need your help. Thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to help us so we can grow in the fruit of the Spirit. So our attitude will be more like you. We can be more loving, joyful, kind, gentle, full of faith. All these things, may it show through our attitudes. And I pray you help each of us to have loving, caring attitudes to help the people that are hurting. When we see somebody in need, help us, Lord, not to just walk by, but help us, Lord, to be like you, to stop and help. In Jesus' name, amen.